George Clooney knew exactly what he was doing. For him and his father, it was the cost of getting this message across. We're here really to ask two very simple questions. The first question is something immediate. And immediately we need humanitarian aid to be allowed into the Sudan before it becomes the worst humanitarian crisis in the world. Immediately. Ladies and gentlemen that have crossed the police line, this is your third and final warning. You will be arrested. Step this way. Minutes later, when they refused police requests to move on, they were arrested. You guys gotta listen. You guys gotta listen. Hands tied and led into the back of a police van. What led him there was this. Fifteen bombs hit this tiny village where everyone is hiding in the rocks. You're a very brave boy. There is no mistaking Clooney's passion for raising awareness of what he says is a looming humanitarian crisis in Sudan. He's just returned from a visit with this video. Those are bullets. Those are bullet wounds there. He's branded Sudan's President Bashir a war criminal who merits international attention. Four hours in custody guarantees a star like Clooney a global audience. You never know if you're accomplishing anything. All we're trying to do is bring attention to a moment uh, uh, in time that is actually important. It was the culmination of a week that's seen him plead his case on Capitol Hill and in a meeting at the White House. He also had some powerful dining companions at a state dinner with the Prime Minister to make his argument. It is my first arrest. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and let's hope it's my last. A $100 fine, a small price to pay for a stunt that achieved exactly what was intended. Greg Milam, Sky News, Washington.